everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Apologies, one, for the lack of uploads over the last couple of weeks. Life has been so busy, it's crazy, and I've just not had two minutes to sit down and film, which is such a shame because I had so many amazing ideas for Christmas content this year, but, you know, life is life and unfortunately time has just whizzed by. However, today I wanted to talk about what I've got Heidi in her stocking this year. Um, obviously this is her second Christmas, but because she was born beginning of December, last year she was only like two weeks old at Christmas, so whilst that was technically her first Christmas, we didn't really get anything for her because she was just so small, she slept through the whole day, whereas this year she's actually really alert, she knows what's going on, she'll know that there's presents and things to open, and after her birthday she started to actually like unwrapping things, so we have filled her stocking this year as you can probably tell it's not like a traditional stocking like i have in the background here this is a personalized like present sack i got one of these because growing up my mum and dad or santa they used to fill one of these up for me and my sister so i feel like it's just a traditional thing that we have gone for this style of stocking really cute though this one has got her name on it i actually just found the seller on ebay this is like 9.99 or something like that and it's such a good material that it's going to last years and years to come, which was my main concern. Buying things this year, I wanted to make sure that things will last a little bit longer instead of buying new things every year. So I not really invested because it wasn't that expensive, but I got something that will last and it's so cute. Um, they had loads of other designs, so I'll leave that link down below. I'm not sponsoring anything, but I just thought I'd mention it because it is lovely. Um, this sack is literally... That was the top, pretty much filled to the top already. Um, everything at the moment is wrapped up, but I videoed everything before I wrapped everything up because I wanted to show you what was in here because when I was thinking about what to put in Heidi stocking for a one year old, I was really, really stuck on ideas because they, it's so hard to buy for a baby that small because first of all, she's like got everything that she really needs she's got so many toys and because it was her birthday like two weeks before Christmas I was really conscious of the things that we have bought her that not only are appropriate for now but will also last the next year because her birthday is then in December next year so whilst we can obviously buy things in between that's not a problem I wanted to be mindful of the things that we got in here so whilst it looks like we have got a hell of a lot of presents in that stocking and we do there's a lot of like practical things, there's some toys, there's books, there's a real range of things. I was really unsure what to get her before we actually started buying things and then I found so many like amazing helpful tips and stuff online which is why I wanted to make my own video because even in like a, a few years to come because I know I'm cutting it pretty fine like close to Christmas in terms of like giving you inspiration but yeah, some of these things you can get as last minute gifts but I wanted to show you what I got because I was struggling so much, I found online resources really helpful so I'm just putting what we got in her stocking out to the world to help other people too. So I really hope that you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up if it has helped you pick anything out for your one year old. It's really exciting when they start becoming their own little person and not just like a baby baby. Um, Heidi's obviously not quite a toddler yet but she's in that stage where she has such an interest in things that... I'm really excited for this Christmas because obviously last year I loved it because she was so tiny and new and she was just here and it was so amazing. Every Christmas now she's going to get way more involved, is going to know what's going on and yeah I'm just so excited to like now have a child at Christmas time but without any further rambling let's just dive straight into what I've got. In her stocking like I mentioned we've got a range of different things. So we've got things that kind of fit different categories so I have clothing, toys, books, practical items and probably a couple of other random bits thrown in as well. So the first kind of category, a very mini category we got is some like foodie bits for her to enjoy. Now she is still like dairy intolerant and we haven't like started weaning her into like milk and egg stuff because she's had an allergic reaction set in the past so we've got her a couple of treats that she can enjoy around Christmas time now I know that for like a one year old chocolate's not the best thing for them but the reason why I got a couple of like sweet treats for her is that for when me and Rich have something open or like we're having a snack of an evening or something I thought it won't be that harmful if Heidi has like a couple of things with us obviously she can't have like 
a celebration or a hero or something like that. So we just got her own little like sweet treats. All of the things that we have got in our stocking have quite a good like shelf life to them. So we can give her like small amounts but like spread it across a couple of weeks. This includes a Candy Kittens Peach Fizz Sweet. So these are the company that's owned by Jamie Lang. We got us some free from chocolate orange buttons. These were just from Asda. They were like 30p each, which was amazing. So not a lot at all, but just a couple of things that she can have whilst we're also snacking because Christmas time is the time for snacks. And then moving on to books that we got her, I absolutely loved these. So these books were from Lidl's, they were 99p each. They're all Disney books, but they're just the illustrations are so, so cute. I could not get a couple. Whilst these were really cheap to buy, they're even cheaper if you buy them on bundles online. So do keep an eye out if you're interested. Heidi can't read these obviously at the moment and they're not exactly age appropriate with the paper pages but I thought when she gets older we can read the these as bedtime stories and we can collect like try and collect as many as possible for when she gets older so I thought these were absolutely lovely and for the price I don't think you can really beat it such such beautiful covers and hopefully something that she'll really enjoy as she does get older like I said maybe not now but when we look to the year ahead this is something that I'm really excited to like get her on board with and she has to be a Disney fan because we are too. So I got a good range of those books obviously ranging from Winnie the Pooh to Guardians of the Galaxy to Bambi. I just thought these would be so lovely for both me and Rich to read her when she goes to bed. They're just so cute. I I was just so in love with them that I picked up every single one that they had in our local Liddles and I'm definitely going to get more as she gets older. These books as well I picked up for her. These were again from Liddles on when they had a baby event really like cute they were like cardboard pages they're like soft covers learning to count and so it's my first one two three and my first abc with like easy words i thought that they were just really cute and really appropriate for her development over the next 12 months and another book that we got this was actually a last minute buy just because i bought it when we were going around home bargains the last time because she was like not loving sitting in the trolley and i needed to get so much stuff that I had to be like practical and I had to keep it entertained in the trolley. So this book was 59p from Home Bargains, another one, two, three one, much like the Liddles ones that I also got. But because it was 59p, we used it to keep it entertained throughout Home Bargains. I knew that she liked it enough to actually basically like flap around the pages. And if I read it to her, she like loved it. So I just bought it at the end of the trip and I thought I'll whack it into her stocking because it was just like so ideal and just one of those ones that because the pages are cardboard much much better for this age because she'll just rip paper ones and like those disney ones i'm keeping upstairs until she learns not to rip them because they're just like too precious to have downstairs and the last book i picked up you might have remembered this from my ikea haul but this is just a peekaboo book from ikea this was really really cheap and just another one that i thought that she'll really love because she loves playing peekaboo so why not i just Thought I'd throw that in there too. So the next like category of things are practical things, perhaps quite boring to put in a stocking and things that we definitely don't have to like wrap up and give her because it's probably a little bit mean, but she's at that age where she doesn't really care what's really inside a present or she certainly doesn't know what like is a present. So for her, the enjoyment of unwrapping things is probably more than what a present actually is. So we've got a couple of practical things that Obviously, this time next year, we're not going to get away with wrapping up, but I thought that we'd just put them in our stocking just because we can start using them from Christmas time. So that includes this little set of cutlery. She doesn't currently use cutlery. We do baby led weaning, but she uses her hands. So obviously within the next year, she needs to learn how to use cutlery. And the next practical item we got her was this toothbrush. And again, we're never going to be able to wrap up a toothbrush again in the future. So why not do it now? This one looked really good and something that she's definitely going to be able to do herself. It's so important when they get teeth to start getting them to brush their teeth all the time, every morning, every night. So something that she can actually hold on to and use herself we thought would be ideal. And I got that in Home Bargains and it was like a pound. It was so good because normally those types of toothbrushes can be more expensive. So when I saw it at that price I thought I'll pick it up. We're trying to clean her teeth at the moment but I think something like that we can use much more routinely and get her really in the habit of doing it all the time especially in the bath it's really easy for them to do so the next category of things include toys 
This particular thing was really, really cute. Again, you'll remember it from my Ikea haul when I filmed that. I'll leave that linked above if I remember because that was quite a good like festive haul to give you some inspiration if you're going to Ikea. But this is just like a cute little teddy bear that goes with the peekaboo book that I showed you previously. And I just thought it would be quite nice to like do it with her so she can associate the character like toy with the character in the book. But even though it's a really cute toy, Heidi is going to love the label more than anything in the world. So um, yeah, I have like a label lover child and it could be any toy in the world I think. If the label is as big as they are on Ikea things, then that's what she's going to play with the most. She got so many toys for her birthday that we didn't want to go overboard in the stocking with too many toys because they'll just get lost in the sea of everything new that she's got and we don't want to take too much focus away from the things that she's got at the moment. We've got enough toys to have to like rotate the toys regularly anyway so and we know that like family members are going to get her a lot of toys for Christmas too so we wanted to be quite particular about the things that we got her in her stocking and like generally for Christmas but when I saw this particular product this is the Chad Valley set of keys now she loves my car keys so much, I don't even think that she'll like playing with this because she'll know it's not my actual car keys, but because it makes sound and it looks like genuinely like a key, I think that she'll love using it, it's for 12 plus months, so perfect for her age range and I think that she will love it because it will be noisy and she can bang it around and hopefully she can stay away from my car keys because every time she bites down on them she cries because I have like metal key rings, so this is much more appropriate. Now this next toy Rich picked up when we were in the range, when I did a haul on that too so you can check that out on a previous video, but this is just really really squishy, it's one of those things that you squish down it feels so so nice, even I found it like really relaxing to squish down. Heidi's in that stage where she loves squishing things, whether it's like her ball pit balls, her something like paper, wet wipes, her dinner, she squishes everything in her hand and just like laughs all the time when she does so. For something like this is perfect. I think this was like a fiver or something, which is by no means like a cheap product, but it feels so, so good that I think that she's gonna absolutely love it. We also picked up quite a few different like bath toys and bath accessories for her, for her stocking. We don't really have that many bath products at the moment and she's really starting to like love her baths and we're obviously like bathing her more regularly than we used to when she was a newborn so you have to keep them entertained in a bath and so we got a load of like products that are going to help entertain her and keep her occupied whilst I'm like washing her hair and stuff. So the first thing we got were these rubber ducks, just a pack of like plain rubber ducks, they're nothing special but she absolutely loves them. They do go mouldy quite quickly though, so do be careful if you start buying them because it's a product that just doesn't last very long. So if you can buy like alternatives that don't go mouldy, that's probably better. But she loves them so much that if I got rid of the ones that we currently have, she'd probably kick off about it. So I did get some new ones. These next products I got from the pound shop and they're like plastic ones, so they're not like flexible, they're like hard plastic different animals that she can play with in the bath. I thought that these would get less mouldy because you can actually drain the water out much easier with these ones and I thought they were really really cute. The next bathing up product I got were these, these are like mats for the bottom of your bath to like stop them slipping over and stuff so we can use these when she gets older but I thought while she's still in her bath seat I'm going to stick these to the side of the bath and she'll absolutely love ripping them off because they make that like <coughs> sound and that sounds so random but I know she will love that and you get so many in a pack for a pound so I thought these would be not only ideal for when she gets older but she'll love using them now. I couldn't resist again in the pound shop another pack of ducks you get four in here they're different colours I just thought that she will love them and like I said, they're not the most ideal thing, but she loves them enough for me to justify buying them. And for a pound for a couple, it's not the end of the world, is it? She will absolutely love these. And I think that the pink and the green one will probably be her favourite. The next category we got is very, very practical and it's a lot of clothes. Now, disclaimer, I've got a lot of clothes that I'm putting in her stocking. The reason being is that she's not quite in 12 to 18 month clothes yet, but she will be very, very soon. So she turned 12 months on the 7th of December. And so she's technically in that age bracket, but she's always behind slightly on like the actual fit of clothing. So I thought it was the perfect time to like stock up on really cute clothes 
and wrap them up because she'll love unwrapping them. And so, like I said, like next year, we're probably not gonna wrap up every single outfit that I buy her within like the last month. But I thought I would because she'll just love unwrapping it. She loves getting clothes and like just like hitting them around and then she loses interest in it. So I just thought this was a great way to like pad out the stocking this year and kind of gave you an excuse to buy really cute outfits for her. And a lot of these outfits, in fact, all of these outfits are from H&M. H&M is genuinely my favourite place to buy baby clothes at the moment. They're really, really affordable. They are so cute. They fit really well. I find that Primark stuff and Tesco stuff comes up really small, whereas H&M is really true to size. And for a girl, obviously I've never bought for a boy before, but for a girl, they have so many cute outfits from dresses to outf to like tops and trousers. And I'm obsessed. I bought so many of her nine to 12 stuff from H&M. And so I went a little bit crazy for 12 to 18. But during Black Friday, they had 20% off everything. So a lot of this is from Black Friday. Dresses were like £3.70, which is so, so affordable, cheaper than Primark prices. And I genuinely find that they're such good quality, especially for the money. So I'm gonna show you the bits that I picked up and that we're gonna wrap up to put in our stocking. This pinafore dress is first. This is so gorgeous. Rich loves this. This is like a corduroy material. The next item is this love t-shirt. It's just a short sleeve t-shirt, but it was like £2.50, so I couldn't not pick it up. I thought she'd look so cute in it. The next item is this really cute floral dress. It is white, so whilst it's not the most practical thing, for £3.70, I bought every single style of dress that they had. It has gorgeous like frill detail on it, and it's just so lovely. Another dress in the same style, this is purple with white dots. Again, £3.70, I think it's just so cute. Pair it with tights in the winter time and in spring she cannot wear tights and I think it's just so good. Here's another pinafore dress. These are perfect for putting over long sleeve vests and short sleeve vests no matter the season and I thought it was just really versatile. And this dress is slightly more seasonal but I love the pattern on it. Again, it was the same price, so, so affordable and so I picked that up. I thought this would look so lovely with tights. When it's still colder, you can get away with it like January, February, March time and yeah, I absolutely love the colours on this one. This one is much more spring appropriate, again, very similar colour tone as the previous one. Just such a gorgeous pattern for such an affordable price, I couldn't not pick it up. This one is actually a year and a half to two years, so I did get a couple in a bigger size just because I wanted to pad out her wardrobe a little bit, but so gorgeous and no matter what the weather's like, you can just wear this throughout the whole year. The next dress is 12 to 18 months. This is black with gold frills. I thought this was so beautiful. It's black, so it's gonna not stain as easily. And whilst it's really creased at the moment, I thought that this would be so good for her to wear throughout the spring and the summer. And with such beautiful detail for such an affordable price, I'm just so obsessed with H&M clothing. I really recommend you check out their page if you have a baby, become a H&M member because you get things even like more discounted and you get rewarded when you buy as well so it's so so good. The next top I picked out because it's so bloody cute. This is 12 to 18 months and I don't care if she wears this since the new year because it's so lovely. It just says my daddy is the best, penguins are my favourite animal so I had to add this to my basket. Next up is an outfit that comes with a long top and leggings but actually that top is long enough to wear as a dress. This is so lovely. Another pair of leggings is so ideal because you can pair that with anything else, but that dress could be used with tights as well as those leggings. And so I thought, again, it's really versatile throughout the winter, the spring and the summer. I just thought it was so lovely. I love the black and white print on this dress and I'm just so obsessed with their like clothes. I literally bought so much. Now this pen and four dress is the same as the one previously, but this I think is in 12 to 18 and the other one was in a year and a half to two years. I just thought this was so practical. It was really, really cheap and I just thought it was so ideal to like throw on top of vests depending on what season it is and how hot it is outside. I just can imagine her like walking around in these and I just thought it was so, so cute. So I just picked up both sizes because they had nothing else in stock except for the two sizes that I wanted. So that was really good. I think this is going to be Heidi's Valentine's outfit, <laughs> I'm planning in advance, but this is super cute, red with white hearts on it, she really does suit red as well, so I just added this to the basket too because it's super cute. You can tell where I've gone down a bit of a dress theme here, but another dress, 
I love the pattern on this, I thought it was super cute, really simple, but you could pair this with like white tights and it's gonna look super, super cute. These leggings, I got her in nine to 12 and I got the exact same pair for 12 to 18 because they're so easy to throw on with all different tops and stuff like that. I stocked up on Primark tops that were £1.50, so these are really good to like pair with those. These come in like different shades of pink. You also get like a dark grey and a white. The white's not so practical, but the dark grey are lovely. Perfect for spring, summer, autumn. They're just so ideal, and I'd like not specific about the colour she wears throughout the year. So these will be so good to just chuck on with like tops, whether they're long sleeve or short sleeve. We're not gonna have like a very hot springtime, so they're just so good to like pair with anything. Okay, these shoes are definitely not the most practical thing in the world. She probably won't even wear them, but these were a pound instead of three pound fifty from Primark. These are in the age range 12 to 18 months. We are actually gonna get her like her shoes fitted from Clark's, but I just thought when she starts wearing shoes, we need to start doing that in the next six months. That these might be ideal to wear like in the house when she's like learning to walk properly but I just couldn't not pick them up for a pound and I thought they were super cute. So that's everything that we got in Heidi stocking. As you can tell, we've got such a diversity of different things, but actually when it comes to toys, there's only like a small handful of things. I just thought very practically this year and I tried to get what I can that's gonna last her the next year. So many clothes, which is ideal because it helps us out by stocking out her wardrobe and it means that she's got more gifts to unwrap at Christmas because she just loves probably playing with the paper more so than she will with the other toys. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. I don't know if I'm gonna see you guys before Christmas, so I hope that you have a really amazing Christmas. If you are watching this and you are like last minute buying, like I did, I bought these right, right up until the last minute, so if you live near a H&M, you can stock up on their really cute clothes. They have so many outfits in there at the moment that I just fall in love with so much. Really ideal too if you wanna order online, it's free returns, which I really appreciate. But that's everything we got in Heidi's stocking this year. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and it's given you a bit of inspiration. Have fun having a one year old at Christmas time. I'm so excited because I know that she's gonna absolutely love it this year. And yeah, that's everything I got. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.